Greetings ladies and gentlemen, this is Rob Wilson and welcome to another session of uh, Movie Reviews. Today we're talking about Violent Night, but before I do, please like and subscribe and keep this channel going as I hope to make it to 100 subscribers one day. Now, Violent Night just released this weekend. I got a chance to see it uh, with my pops. If Home Alone and Die Hard had a child, this would be it. However, there were some dry moments to it. I feel like uh, there are some parts that could have been cleaned up, but it was definitely a violent night. What's worse than having a Santa Claus that is no longer believing in himself to a degree? So um, you had two aspects of this movie. John Leguizamo was like the main bad guy, really silly. Apparently he's doing his rounds because he was just in the menu, which uh, I'll review at a later date as well. But uh, this movie definitely had its violence. It was rated R. The action was semi-decent, but most of the scenes were stolen right out of either Die Hard or Home Alone. Point being said, it does have a decent conclusion. It's worth checking out it, you know, once. Take a family member, loved one to go see it. Uh, it does get goofy, as a lot of these movies are. Um, ironically, when uh, me and my pop saw the trailer to Cocaine Bear, we actually forgot what movie I was going to see, which was Violent Night. But Cocaine Bear was just, the trailer to it was just so funny that, uh, yeah, Violent Night. I guess, you know, it, it makes a halfway score, you know, 5 out of 10 or barely a 3 out of 5. Maybe, maybe a 2 out of 5 for those kind of scoreboards. I don't really do those because scores can change, so I never have one set in stone. However, you know, that's where Violent Night stands. I feel like it could have been done better david arbor uh you know he, i feel like he did a good job for what he was given but um you know of course there were the usual themes mixed couple black lady ball head i guess that's cool be the wimpy husband father of the child barely any guts rich family entitled assholes those themes were in there as well but uh the violence and the fighting was was semi-decent seems like he could fight a little bit better santa claus could fight better than john mcclain there's an interesting concept i don't know if they just threw it in just to add to the story there is an interesting concept of santa claus being some kind of viking in the past before he became jolly old saint nicholas so that was a interesting aspect but it may have been placed in that movie just to you know say hey santa's got a violent side too there is a point in the movie where it seemed to kind of drag along that's like the ultimate bathroom break you'll know it when you see it because you'll be waiting for something to happen and nothing's happening so for the most part once it actually gets to the nitty-gritty blood guts and gore and there's plenty of it it's really not you know santa claus taking everybody out families have their own side battles too and all that kind of stuff so i thought it was you know fairly decent movie for what hollywood normally puts out these days i'd say it's worth a watch at least once just to see how silly and goofy it is not to the level of goofy where people standing out in the street outside wearing a mask with no one in front of them or no one you know around them that's a whole nother level of goof sorry but getting back on top violent night it's worth a watch uh the menu i think is worth more of a watch which like i said i will be doing a review at a later date of that as well that's all i got ladies and gents this is rob wilson arts i'm out peace as i was editing this video i found out that there's a uh, petition to try to stop the release of the rated r violent santa movie violent night at change.org uh, i guess this is common practice um they only got 43 out of 100 signed so uh that's just to raise awareness i guess but uh this person rachel pickett apparently uh started this petition universal studios is soon to release a movie called violent night that turns santa into an extremely violent action figure the movie is rated r and the preview shows scenes of Santa viciously attacking people and killing people. Santa is one of the few untainted symbols of goodness and generosity in our society and around the world. Media that glorifies violence and turns symbols of good into dark and light, and dark and violent characters affects us all. Movies influence attitude, mindsets, and societal norms. If we allow movies such as these to be released, how can we expect the violence, shootings, and hate in our society to decrease? Movie studios have power. Let's convince them to use that power to influence our society for good and rather than to spread violence and hate. How about this? 
don't go see the movie. Plain and simple. Just don't go see it. Vote with your dollars, right? That's how some people say it. It's a plain and simple concept. But, you know, I guess people want to raise awareness. But thanks for raising awareness that possibly more people have seen it. I mean, it's it just barely made its budget in two days. Its budget was $20 million. It made $20.3 million. So um, I don't think there's much to really worry about Violent Night influencing uh, societal norms. Because apparently, you know, the societal norms are already buck wild as it is anyway. Your speculation, just an educated guess, I'd say that man is alive. Come with me and see what I see. The terrible worlds that lie between. The realm observed and the realms unseen. Where the dark things live while you dream. Join me. Fight on the beholder as I drag your mind into those shadows and corners. Where you can see like me. Those things you don't want to believe. Unconditional shove. The new horror sci-fi graphic novel anthology series. Featuring two stories and over 80 pages of compelling, action-packed, terrifying fun. In our first story, I'll take you to a place where the otherworldly is made manifest. In this place, the abstract permeates the cosmology. In this place, your fears will construct the most terrifying animations. Because in this place... Monsters exist. And in our second story, we stumble upon an ancient friendship between monster and man. And you'll see why it might be best to keep your monsters close and your enemies even closer. In with friends like these. Unconditional Shove Volume 1. A graphic novel for all you lovers of the strange, macabre, and creepy that we all know exist in the shadows of our universe. Unconditional show, back in today on Indiegogo.